International Communication Association, ICA, presents. Let's face it. Whether we like it or not, our worlds of communication have transformed in profound ways. Starts with a piece of information, it's misrepresented, it's packaged as false claims, and then takes off online and in some media circles. Is this part of a pattern now? The way we live, love, study, and work looks different than it did even a decade ago. Many employers say remote work may be the next gold mine. Digital technologies and social media are pushing into more of our lives. And scholars from the International Communication Association are grappling with questions we can't avoid. How can we talk about actually challenging patriarchal structure or challenging racist structure if we're keeping intact a political, economic and ideological system that is designed to divide the labors of women and of people of color in particular ways. Are we going to be able to keep the university open as an intellectual space? Can we, in our field, begin to theorize media outside of the assumption of electricity? I'm Noshir Contractor, President-elect of the International Communication Association. I am so excited to introduce you to the ICA Podcast Network, where we are grappling with questions about how to navigate, transform, and make sense of a changing world. Our podcasts will bring together scholars from universities around the world to showcase the most exciting and important work in our field and amplify researchers, educators, and advocates who are underrepresented in our field. In the One World, One Network podcast, the co-chairs of the ICA 2022 Conference Theme Committee host conversations about this year's conference theme. Here's Radhika Parameshwaran in discussion with co-chair Ingrid Bachmann. There's this whole frantic, frenetic pressures to do this public virtue signaling. And then there are others who are not doing any of that, but quietly making change in their communities. We want people who are working in different ways to be acknowledged. Interventions from the Global South looks at communication issues outside of a Western perspective. In the first episode, Colin Chasi talks with host Mohan Datta about bringing together lived experiences and moral philosophies from across the Global South to re-articulate something new. In the Global South, we're supposedly stuck in the past which is therefore incapable of being inventive. So there's a specific need for us to reclaim tradition as a living process that connects us to the future. Are you curious about why some of our leading researchers joined this field in the first place and where they think it's going? In Architects of Communication Scholarship, Ellen Wartella brings together top scholars to find out. Here's Larry Gross being interviewed by Jeff Pooley about living in a heavily mediated world. One of the consequences of the internet and social media is that everybody is behind the camera as well as in front of the camera. On Digital Alchemy, host Moya Bailey explores the transformative work of digital organizers, activists, and academics, like Sasha costanza Chuck, who's working to develop community-led and justice-oriented practices for design. The academy really just upholds and deepens very oppressive histories and, and structures. And at the same time, under the current system of neoliberal white supremacist capitalism, universities still do provide some nooks and crannies of possibility. How much can we push them? In the debut episode of Feminist Networks and the Conjuncture, Host Sarah Benet Weiser interviews Simidele Dosikum about a new feminine subjectivity and transnational culture. Yes, Simi. I was looking at women who dress in what I called or thought of as a spectacularly feminine style, you know, so a very sort of hyper normative feminine style, and I was interested in the question of what that meant. Ask Us Anything features conversations from ICA President Mary Beth Oliver's QA webinar series. In this episode on networking, Mary Beth brings together more seasoned professors and early career professors like Min Jae Lee. 
sometimes you're going to feel very uncomfortable. You don't see people like you on the tables. If you're from marginalized community, like it's very, very important for you to、uh, make yourself known. In growing up calm, members of ICA's student and early career advisory committee host conversations about student early career experiences. Here's Rehane Maktoufi on the social media episode. My favorite thing about social media is that one of my social media friends, who I met in person maybe twice, I am now her bridesmaid for her wedding. JCMC, the discussion section, is hosted by Nicole Ellison, editor in chief of ICA's Journal of Computer Mediated Communication. With her guests, Nicole explores the intersections of communication and technology. The discussion section is where it's okay to talk about things that haven't happened yet, and to connect out to other fields and theories and conversation. And finally, in communicating for impact, Patrice Busnell hosts discussions on how we can apply communication scholarship in our everyday lives. In the first episode, Pablo Baskowski underscores how necessary it is to emphasize location and context in our discussions of distrust in the media. It's very, very important that we do a lot of comparative research, and not only north-south, but also a lot of south-south comparative research. Because even within regions of the world like Latin America, there is a lot of heterogeneity. No matter what your relationship to the field of communication is, you'll find something on the ICA Podcast Network to pique your interest, support your work, and resonate with your life. So keep an eye out, or an ear, I should say, on your favorite streaming platform. We are on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and the ICA website. ICA members also have the opportunity to engage with our podcasts on the Link, a discussion platform on the ICA website. We invite ICA members to use the Link to discuss past episodes with one another, as well as with the hosts and podcast guests. The platform is also a space for you to suggest topics, guests, and questions for future podcast episodes. This episode was produced by Susanna Kemp with support from Chenjerai Kumanika. Our executive producer is Aldo Diaz Caballero. Our production consultant is Nick Song. The theme music is by Kushito. Thanks for listening.